Hello, everyone. I'm laughing at myself because I'm back to the with the old way to start my video because I got two cameras again. So I'm just laughing because I was not sure what to click. So um, now you're going to have to tell me if you uh, can hear me and see me. That would be lovely. And then I want to test the other screen. I think that's correct. And also there. So now we're going to wait and see. I'm looking at the comments. Um, see the comments here to see if you guys can hear me. That's okay. Yesterday, too, my sound was a little bit low, so we're going to fix that here. Let's see if I can. Okay, I turned this sound. It's good. Good. Turn your volume up. I'm going to try one more thing here. Check my system, the sound. Okay, now I move the sound. So if you guys can all tell me if that's better. I moved that to quite a bit there. So if you guys can tell me if the sound is good, I crank it up in the back and then we'll see because I'm back to my old system. I got my new uh, thing for the internet. I got my own satellite now. So I think it's going to, yes, it's low. Make sure your um, volume is up. It's quite low. Okay, one minute. Let me try one more thing. I want to make sure. Okay, that's good there. And then I'm going to come here and do the volume there. Okay, the volume should be all good there. So if you guys can tell me, uh, could be a bit louder. Okay, well, I guess some people get a little bit of problem with the sound, but at my end, everything should show in completely in the green. So it should be good. Let me make sure. I'm going to close that. Sound is found. Okay, volume is good. So if somebody got problem um, at their end, try to crank up at your end. Okay, I see... Most people say the sound is good. So, okay, so we're going to get going. So tonight we're going to do um, another card with uh, the designer series paper from Celebration. And this can be used for, um, can be used to uh, do with any designer series paper. So on the Create and Share with Frenchia, on a, I get a group on Facebook that we share idea and we get this year, it's all the theme. It's get organized. It was a lot. Volume, it's still low. I don't know what to say about that. I At my hand, I cannot change nothing. So I don't know what to say about it. I really, really don't know. The sound on the device and then also the sound on YouTube because you get this, the little uh, microphone there and then on your site. So I know last time Michelle had a tough time and it was something that was muted at her end or something for soft. So, okay, I'm going to keep on going. So what I was saying, 
what we're going to be doing tonight, you can use any designer series paper. In the group called Create and Share with Frenchie, we had last week was all about designer series paper. And so I was trying to share ideas on how to use a lot of designer series paper. Some people like to chop it or cut it like by four by six and so on. But what we're using tonight, use half a sheet and more. So I would keep some sheet 12 by 12. Also, I like that for belly band. So keep that in mind before you chop it all up. Okay, somebody said I was very loud on the iPad. So, okay, I guess that it depends on the machine because if some people got it right, so that mean it's good, right? Okay, so we're going to be using, and I did one, and I'm just going to share it at the end with a favorite flower. Uh, right now, we're going to use the Denti, what it's called, Denti flower. So let me pull the, this down here. See, I don't even have to flip you upside down. See me in the corner. I don't know how I'm going to like that in the corner. Well, see there, maybe that's going to disappear uh, just because I'm all over the place when I stamp, okay? So um, we're using this paper on page six in celebration paper that uh, can be yours for free with an order of $50 or more. Now, uh, the other one that I did, okay, I really uh, need to remove this one. I just, because I, I go closer to the camera when I move in. You guys are going to see my head and everything. So here is the other one. I already did a card in this one, but I won't share it till at the end. And that shouldn't be uh, any change on the mic. Um, okay, one more thing I will check. That's not right. Um, Okay, it's one thing maybe I can, um, okay, that one is good. Testing one, two, three. And I see people saying the sound is good, other people, the sound it's not good. I don't know what to say. So we're going to get jiggy with it, okay? So this one here, it's one thing you're going to have to pay attention when you're going to cut it. And the reason why behind all that, it's because we just need half of it, well, five and three quarter, uh, five and a quarter, but we want that the designer, the paper go in your direction. See, this would be upside down. This one here would be straight up because you see when it's up, when it's down. So we're going to take this part here and we're going to cut this at five and a quarter, five and one quarter. Okay, so now if I would want to use this one, it's good because go, see it's going in the same direction. The boat print needs to go in the same direction. And then this one, see, if I would want to do the same design card, I can, because see, when I turn that, you see it's upside down. So with that being said, with this card, with this print, it's only one card we can do. This is going to be used for something else. I'm going to use it in this card, because just because I want you to use a lot of paper, so I'm going to be using a lot of paper, okay? So, oh. This is moving on me. So I'm going to score this at four inch. And I'm going to flip that, make it easy and four inch. So four and four. So it would be four and eight. So I see tonight we get two troublemaker on the live. And I know they know who they are. 
They got little purple hearts going on. We want to say more than that, okay? So you guys can pinpoint them. Yeah. Okay. So I got a bone folder in this place usually. That is funny because now I don't see it. But I got more. I don't know where I put that one. It's someplace here. Okay, so I'm gonna reinforce this and reinforce this, but I just realized I want this the other way. So let's switch that this way. And this way. Here we go. So now, for my, okay, here is what I got here. I got the painted poppies. I use, um, I start using this like two weeks ago. And just to warn you, it's going to be almost on every card. I get a feeling it's going to retire. I didn't use it a lot and I love, love it. So with that being said, you're going to see a lot of that. So that's, so I didn't use the painted uh, poppies. I use the painted label, the dies. Now, uh, this one, I'm going to use sending you small from every moment uh, on your special uh, day. I guess I need a block. Okay, this is in my way. Okay, we're going to put that one there. And then I didn't put the, the thing. This one was in the other one. We're going to hold on on that. And then the happy birthday, it's peaceful moment. That's the happy birthday that I took, okay? Okay, so for the base of the card, it's cups on the floor. Okay. My goodness, that little flower. Okay, this I die cut this of. This is Ollie's favorite color, you all. So if any time that you think you should send my assistant Holly a card, make sure you put some of um, whatever it's called, Crush Curry. No, it's her least favorite color. And you know what? The more that I play with colors, the more that I realize that I do love uh, yellow. Yellows and blue are my colors. I never realized that I'm a lot on the yellow, but it is um, a color that I like a lot. So I'm gonna use Crush Curry Dauber here. I thought I had it, yeah, right here. And I just, this is the Medium Daisy. The one that it's current, the large one, it's retired, so it's the medium. And I just cut it in two, and i just going to um, add some yellow to my petal here. Yes, Ollie, I have to say, you've been using a lot of yellow. Oh, commercial time, commercial time, talking about hello. Hold on on this. I got something to share. When uh, Ollie said yellow, um, Ollie designed three and I designed three. So we're adding, um, we're adding Down Syndrome uh, fundraiser here in Cheyenne. So if you're any place near Cheyenne, so it can be in Nebraska. I got a group of four coming from Nebraska. I got people from Colorado. Any place around March 18, I start taking reservation payment. It's $30 to attend. You're going to make six cards. I'm going to share the cards. It's all yellow and blue. And the reason yellow and blue, it's the color of Down syndrome. So this one was designed by Ollie. This was designed by me. This was me. This was me. This was Holly, and this was Holly. 
So everything, it's yellow and blue. You're going to make those six cards for $30 plus um, make the six card. It's going to be a light snack. And $25 of your $30 go directly to uh, Down Syndrome um, Wyoming Association. And then the $5 really, it's not to pay for the product. I pay for the product. It's going to be a pay for uh, the water, the snack, and so on. Uh, maybe a little bit of product, but trust me, mainly the product, it's my donation. And that's going to take place at Wyoming Bank and Trust here in, Sh in Cheyenne. And trust me, the door price or the, the raffle, we're going to have basket after basket after basket. Because when I hit my million dollars, I was gifted two big box of product. Plus, I put some and we got donation and so on. Michelle give us a big box also. So we got a lot of stuff. We got those nice though that I did with the ribbon of uh, Down syndrome. So with your $30, that gives you one ticket for the raffle. But then we're going to sell more raffle. It's going to be $2 each or three, four, five the days, the day of the fundraiser. So I would love for you to join. Contact me if you want to register with limited space, but I'm hoping to fill the space also. So keep that in mind, March 18. I understand that the weather can play a factor on that, but it's no, um, if you decide to cancel, I don't refund your money. Your money going to go all the way to, I, I mean, straight to uh, uh, the association. Okay. So now we got our petal. The petal of the daisy, what you want to do is you want to hold each petal when you do that. If not, you're going, it's going to be like Mary, Mary me not, or love me, love me not. And I did that this afternoon because I wanted to get one ready. And if you're going to know this, it's one less petal. I want to have more like a poppy, uh, not a poppy, but um, cone flower. So now I'm going to take those two and we're going to use a glue dot and put that right there and we're going to put that just crisscross that never mind the top okay because it can be off a little bit now I got half inch circle so take the smallest circle you can find and then you're going to use a foam i got one half of it that's the uh, piercer and what i like to do me it's my poker or you can use um, also from the pick tool you want something rounded okay and then you're going to, you see the brown there? It's hard to see maybe if I put a piece of white, right? Here we go. Now you see better. So you're going to take your poker and just go and roll it there. Okay, don't work with the white under because it's light. So I'm going to have to remove it with you. So, and you just turn and turn and turn. And that's going to give you your center and it's kind of raised up. Okay, look good in red color. That's funny because red, it's never been my color. Well, this is more like a rusty red. Maybe so. Well, thank you. Maybe I should wear more red, right? Now, we're going to put a, a small dimensional in the back of this. Oh, yeah, it's plenty of motel um, close by. Okay, voila. Okay, so now we got that. Okay, and then the label poppies, I said you're going to see a lot. Here it is. I already cut it. And I did one minute here. Measure twice, cut once. So the white is um, one and a half. The green, that's all olive, it's one and three quarter. 
it's funny. I thought I stamped that with happy birthday and I didn't. So I need some ink. I didn't bring ink. I don't know what I was uh, thinking. I'm going to choose Blackberry Bliss. I don't know what I was doing, doing a, a stamping class, but not having ink. So that's kind of funny. It's going to be way cute, way cute. Trust me, you guys don't have a clue yet. Okay, you see, I stamp on a scrap paper the first time. This is, see, I have a mess here. The first time that you ink a stamp set, you should most of the time stamp on scrap paper and then stamp again. I call that condition the stamp. Yes, Ollie is correct. That's one of the reasons I choose Down Syndrome because of the little or little granddaughter Maddie. So, um, and I had the choice, you know, I named St. Jude Hospital um, and it was Down Syndrome. I used to do Celebrate Pink this time. We're going with, that's the one that I did. Okay, so now we got kind of the front. like this that's gonna go there and then you see I got that's gonna be with the glue dot you see where we're going with this are you okay one one thing I didn't cut just because I want to share something so this here I'm gonna put it right here see how pretty that is okay um, we need another one of this here in the Blackberry Bliss. And I didn't cut it for one reason. I know I preach that a lot, but I find out that I can preach something a lot of time and sometimes you miss that class. So now I'm using the scallop contour and I'm using not the one with the, the hole in the scallop, the biggest one, the full one. And then we get to the next one, it's the next size. But I'm using this one here. And even if I get a big piece of paper here, you want at any time that you get a rectangle, a square, you want to go diagonal a little bit, especially when you get stitch. And the reason, if you go straight up, it's kind of a speed bump, I call it, the roller in this, and it go poof, and then again. So if you go, it don't have to be a lot. See, I just go a little bit, that it go diagonal, that it's going to start at one side and push the roller smoother into your die. And that's going to make a difference for especially when you get stitch, okay? Keep that in mind. Anytime that <clears throat> you get stitch or even any type of plain rectangle or uh, square and so on, it cut easier, much easier, I should say. Okay, now we will build this and I get the green I'm gonna put the um, do you need to go outside this kid here we go yep I'm gonna put the supplies I thought I had put the supplies I don't think so cuz I switch I had scheduled my um, live and then you know I get the new internet I had to uh, schedule that differently <coughs> yes blackberry so the old olive ribbon it's the one in the combo old olive and sarah sand on page 145 of the annual catalog so the first thing you want to do it's we're going to glue this to the old olive here and now that I see this, I don't have, I don't like old olive on old olive. So we're going with blackberry. So who said I couldn't change my mind as I go? Did somebody said that? If somebody is busy to go, I don't know, feed the chicken. I guess you can go feed the chicken and come back and watch the replay. 
So we're going to go at four and a quarter. Thank you so much to all the ones that share. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I so appreciate you. Here I go. So I was planning to do green. Now I switch my mind. I never measure my ribbon. I know some of you measure your ribbon. I don't. I go about. So this year it's too much. Okay, I'm going to cut it and I'm going to tell you how long I did. And we're going to see if we get too long. But I never cut it. When I wore, I mean measure, I just go about. So that's 12 plus 8, 20 inch. Okay, so I went, we're going to say about 20 inch. I'm going to put a space right there. And in the back here. And this, you, you want to be generous on your glue, okay? Don't be sissy to use the uh, adhesive. Use that like it's free. Okay, the opening need to go to the, the left. Now we're going to put that right in half. Here we go. See, I don't like it when I'm all cockeye in the back. If your ribbon is cockeye in the back, it will be cockeye up front. Okay, so hold it like this. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put that, oh, much better blackberry in the green. It was too much green. Here we go. Now what I'm gonna do is put a little, just right in the center, put a little strip there, put that there. Now we're gonna take our lovely, uh, and this here, I'm not putting that with dimensional because I want this to hold the, the ribbon. So you see, I'm very generous with my uh, glue tonight. Okay, what do you think of just the front? Is that cool? I think it is. I need this to be more this way though. Dang, gum it. Can I move it without ripping it? I know I can take the E2. Okay, you need to be more to the left. To the left, to the left, to the left. And you will understand in a minute why you want to be to the left, to the left, okay? So your circle should not be right in the center. It should be more to the left. Okay, now we're gonna open this up. And now you know the paper that I told you that we got extra? So we're gonna use that. Okay, this, oh, I'm missing a paper. Well, we're gonna get another one. I know where we can get paper. Let's go with this. Okay, I need another piece of white. I had it cut, but I think I use it for scratch. It's just one of those days. Okay, so I want to cut at, uh, we're going to cut at 2, 178. We're going to see 178 by uh, 3 and 18. Maybe we're going to have to shrink that here. One minute. No, that was right. Okay. Okay, I was right. I, I didn't need that. You want this piece of paper, and that's what you want to cut at two by three and a quarter. I want some, I got some glue here someplace, someplace. Okay, I want some of those flowers. So I'm going to cut that right here. And then I said, what, two inch? We're going to cut that at two inch. 
and then at three and a quarter. Okay, you can use this paper for, that would make a nice card on the side. You can use that for whatever, but that was the other app, okay? Now we're gonna take this piece and we're gonna put that here in the frame. So it's not white, I thought I wanted white. It's not white, it's this color here. Uh, I can use a little bit skinnier. So let me, just like us, right? We, so it's gonna be one and one and a three quarter. Just like us, we always, doesn't matter the size we are, I think we want to be a little bit skinnier. Et voila. Now we're gonna mount that on the Blackberry Bliss. My goodness, I use the dies, lots of layers. What do you guys think? Am I having a fever? And is that look just like a frame? Like you would look outside? I think it's so pretty. See that when you open that? See it coordinate there. Now when you open that up, you get those daisy or those flower cone. So that's why I decide to bring this one here. Now, the center, we need a place to write, or you could always put a white paper in the back and write there, but I want the center to write. So that's when I did another of the Blackberry Bliss, and then we get this one here, and it say, happy birthday. So we're gonna put sending you smile uh, for every moment of your special day. Ollie, thank you so much for making me buy this set. I say make me because I was complaining that I didn't have a stamp set for birthday inside. Okay, it's cockeye a little bit. So I just want to tilt it a little bit. And I get two sides to the thing, so I'm good. Curtain. You know what? We're going to give it another shot. Let me... Put that straight right here. Okay, now let's give it another shot. Let's see if that is better. No, it's worse. Okay, let's see now. I don't pay attention to the wording. I just pay attention to the side of my blog. Okay, now it's straight. I know we got a stamparatus for that, but that would make me bend down. Oh, perfect. See, third time's a charm. Okay, now we're gonna glue that there. And I got a lot to share after this, so don't run away, okay? I got lots to share. Now we're gonna take this and we're going to glue that so you get place to write your memo. And if you like to write a lot, well, you don't have to put a greeting. I guess you can write whatever you want. Like me, I would want to stamp something that fill the whole thing. And then I get another uh, flower here minus one of the petals because it was love me, love me not. It loved me. Uh, I'm going to put it right down here. Here we go. What do you think? Yes, that paper is beyond gorgeous. So see, and this is gonna go in a regular uh, envelope. Maybe I'm gonna put the butterfly stamp, like Anne Deliver, but uh, Anne stamp, but it's going in a regular envelope. So I just tie a knot. If you want your boat to go th this direction, you want your tail to one up, one down, okay? Your boob always gonna go in the other direction from your tail. Tail of the ribbon, I should specify that, right? Here we go. So 20 inch was right on, my friend, okay? I would not cut shorter and I would not cut longer. 
20 inch it is. I'm gonna cut a little bit here, but you need space sometime to, uh, et voila. So, uh, Justine, uh, did that remind me when you share your card on uh, Create and Share with Frenchie? That's when I decide to create this one. So here is one. Is that gorgeous? Using that paper and it is free, right? I think it is beautiful. Okay. If you think that one is beautiful, wait, I get another one. So this one here, it's to use the paper flower. Again, free in celebration. So this one here, that's the designer series paper. Uh, in the back, uh, I don't have to, because that's coordinate with something, something, and I don't have that set. So it's just so you can use something else. That was, um, I know which one it is. Uh, let me find it one second, hold on. I told you, you guys don't have to go feed the chicken yet. It's Cottage Rose. See? Cottage Rose. That's the flower in the back of that. So that, okay, both of them, they coordinate with something, something. And I don't have neither of them. So this one here, coordinate with uh, the frequent flower, fragrant, whatever. That means smell, right? Um, I know some of you just lost your cookies there, but that's okay. On page 21. So on page 21. So, and it's a reason that I decided that I didn't need everything anymore. Because a lot of time we discourage the, the newcomer, put it that way. They think they need everything new. You don't. See, I, you, I don't have this set and I'm not, you I would love for you to purchase it, absolutely. But if you, the budget don't permit everything, see, even if this paper coordinate with that, because some of the dye would cut that paper, you can use another flowers in the back. So I use the Cottage Rose, that's from the annual catalog on page 57. And then this is in the new catalog though, it's cover in sunshine. May the road ahead of you be brighter than the one behind. Line with wildflowers and cover in sunshine. Really, that saying would have been good with the other card, right? I screwed that up, but that's okay. So here it is. So this one, see this, I end cut the, the paper. And that is fresh freesia. We need to go out, run it. Okay, now granite needs to go up. There you go, bud. And, <clears throat> and so when I open it up, see this again, it's one of those flowers that I end cut, took another strip of that paper. And when you open it up inside, I put it in the green there. So now all of you, and I bet I can point my finger at 90% of you that are watching are holding on that designer series paper like it's gold or silver that's gonna come up in value. Just use that paper. You know the next catalog and the next catalog and so on gonna have more and more and more print that you're gonna fall in love with it. So use what you got and then order more. So don't be afraid to cut that paper. And this year it's a great, cause use, I use the paper here I use the paper at half a sheet. So half a sheet go quick, right? So this one with a full sheet, you would make two. So, well, plus you would need your uh, scrappy there. So that is the one. Now talking about designer sear paper, and I told you I got that group that we're sharing ideas to get organized in our craft room, to declutter and so on. It's, um, it's called Create and Share with Frenchie. If you're looking for it, you cannot find it. Just shoot me an a email and I'm going to send you the link. Um, so uh, I share, I think it was last week. Let me look and I get the winner of last week too. Yesterday I tried my, uh, oh, one minute, back up the bus. One more thing, back up the bus. This one here, 
the one that we did live, it coordinated with Denti Delight Bundle on page 55. So that is another one I don't have, but I use whatever I use tonight. So it's, I use more paper, really. So it coordinates with this one. So <clears throat> it's um, absolutely um, easy to uh, switch the thing. Here we go. Okay, now, but this, I think this is very striking, both of them, but ooh, see that pop of yellow, Ollie, make it all. So yesterday, after they were done with my internet, I had a bunch of strip, because I used uh, that paper to do my thank you card this month, and I had a stash, and I'm not exaggerating, it was like a stash this much, and I'm like, what am I going to do with all those uh, strips? So I did, did this quick card, strip a strip. So you glue the top, glue the bottom, and then the center. And again, I use that, boom. And after I somebody won the stash, I send it already. So I have to make myself one. That one, I don't think we I had stamped the greeting inside, but we had put two strip in the bottom. But before I send her all the stash, I'm like, I need to do a card like that because it's a great way to show you how to use that scrap paper. Okay, now on top of that, I, I want to say last week or the week before I shared that on creative uh, and share to use the designer sear paper. So again, it's this. So this is a trifold. This is a trifold also, but see this way. Voila. Or I just did that video and using this. Now I don't remember when I did the video, but it's a video. And see, so that was the designer paper from Celebration. This is a wash in beauty. And this is the paper also. This, et voila. Oops, a little bit lower. And this is who's, who's of happiness? Who's? It's a H and a H and a H. So who's of happiness? That is this one. And the flower also, it's the paper. See, the paper, the paper. So, oh, I had a little bling there. I think I just flick it, flick the thing. Um, so it's just, see, the designer sear paper that you're sitting on it and you're letting collect dust, it would make amazing, beautiful card. So I would say get get that out and use it so then you you're going to feel way better to you uh, you know uh buying more because you know darn well um uh, we're going to have more coming up and you want to buy it right okay so um next week i'm going to have a winner for these two here okay because i did this one but this is the same so i'm gonna have, we're gonna have a drawing for those one Okay, somebody is rolling on the floor. I don't know if it's something they said there or I said there, but I know I'm going to hear about it. And the funny part, uh, last Saturday I was live with Michelle. I don't know if you guys saw that. And we did, uh, where is that darn card? Michelle did a card and I did, how, this is how simple as simple can be. So if you're new to stamping, I suggest that you come, on Facebook and watch this video. Michelle did one that at Dice. Dice is a little bit more um, money wise. This year it's one color ink. Well, one color paper plus the white. So really you get two different uh, paper. I added the circle there, but you wouldn't have two. And one stamp set. That is it. So if you're new at stamping, don't think this hobby, you have to start with everything. This is very simple. One color ink, two piece of cardstock, and then uh, one stamp set. Boom, boom, done. And inside, I carry the party inside. So, okay. So Michelle, we went live and she gave I mean, 10 big box, and she had the, you guys, if you watch the weather, 
the at the big storm there this week in Oklahoma. So the box is going to be in the mail uh, this weekend or Monday. So don't panic if you didn't get your box. Most place in the south, don't, the flights are canceled. Nothing, it's moving. They're just sliding like on skate. So we did these two cards last Thursday, create on the fly. So the winner is Mary Ellen Ryan. So Mary Ellen Ryan, if you're live, please go to my blog at frenchystamps.com and click the contact and give me your mailing address. Now this one make me laugh because the lucky winner, it's one with a big heart of last week. It is Michelle, the cow whisperer. So I laugh when um, the name came out because she was like, I love that card. So that was the, the comment that popped up. So Michelle, I got your address. This is gonna go out in the mail to you. You're gonna have to have you're gonna have some happy mail also. And then Mary Ellen Ryan, if you want to send me your mailing address, please. So I think we had a very good variation of card. Now I don't have to flip you around and go around and around and around. I can just come here, click the button, and I'm back. How amazing is that? So I'm going to play a little bit more with the mic to maybe uh, this was a little bit too low. I don't know. Um, but I see a lot of people say it was good. Some people say it was too low. Uh, maybe turn the volume at both place, not just on your device, but also on your um Mach uh, machine itself, you know, on the face, uh, not Facebook, YouTube also. So that is it. So again, get that paper going. And I'm going to go ahead and soon it's done here. I'm going to put the showcase and also the measurement. The measurement, it's so easy because the designer seer paper, it's five and a quarter by 12, score at four and eight. And then the backing of it, it is five and a half by four and a quarter. That is it. And then whatever all you want to embellish it. Sound was great there. Good, good, good. I don't know why some had to, um, I don't know. So that is it, my friend. Till next time, don't forget the paper for celebration with an order of $50. You can... Uh, Get that for free. Also, they got added some new celebration item. I wanted to tell you it's punch, the ribbon, it's two ribbons. It's stuff from the the annual catalog. You get the mask and that also. You get two punch, the bird, songbird, and another um, punch. And then you got enjoy the journey. I not enjoy the journey. Yeah, enjoy the journey. The the paper that's from the mini catalog so you get more choice from to choose from that is it my friend bye bye for now